let's take a look at um, setting tabs here. So we've got this fax and um, we were instructed to fill out some information. And then down here we want to set tabs so that the decimal points line up. And we're instructed to set it at three inches. Now, we've got a couple of different options here. So right here, um, if I hover over that, that's a first line indent. So that means that if I have a paragraph, the first line will be indented. This one is the hanging indent. So if my first line is here, the second line will be indented this way. My video camera is backwards. So that's a hanging indent for the line underneath the top line of a paragraph. Now right here, we want to set a decimal paragraph so that those decimals line up. Now, right here, this is a left tab, and I'm going slowly so you can see the screen tip. If I click it again, it turns into a center tab. I click it once more, it's a right tab so that on the, um, the side of my screen, it would back up the information from the right margin. And then the one we're interested in is this one, this decimal tab right here. And I'm going to click right here at three, click, and it should add it in. All right, it's added in now. And um, you'll see that these already moved over because a tab was there already. And I can see that by clicking on the reveal formatting, this um, backwards P underneath the home tab and that shows me uh, the end of cells here a little arrow is a tab and spaces appear like dots like that so that lines everything up perfectly a couple of problems that people were having was uh, we're not putting tabs in at all so things don't line up putting too many tabs in so things don't line up see that has to be one tab each, so this indicates one tab, two tabs. Um, and the second tab over here, once we tab again, it's not a decimal tab, so it won't line those decimals up. So, um, and the wrong kind of tab won't line the decimals up either. Now, if we move this whole paragraph over, if I grab this, everything will move together, that little square on the bottom. I move everything over. Now we're sort of running into where our numbers are written here. And if we go too far, we're pushing everything beyond the tab and they won't line up anymore because our tab is beyond where the decimal place is. So go back to the beginning and everything's lined up there. If you have questions, please ask.